episode is sponsored by Anderson Plumbing, Heating, and Air. Nobody wows clients like we do. Weather anchor Moses Small, not only watching our temperatures, but we've got air quality issues today. Yes, we do. That's a brand new air quality alert coming directly from that fire. And notice just how wide of an area this covers. We got that alert just about 45 minutes ago. It's going to go all the way until tomorrow morning at 8. And so it's a very good idea that if you smell smoke, make sure to keep your windows closed. Try to limit any time or exercise outside and just try to cut down your exposure to that smoke. It's certainly not a good thing to breathe in and just checking in on some of the conditions that we're seeing um, around the area of that fire. We're seeing the temperatures cool down a little bit, which is good, about 81 degrees in the Ramona area right now, even though the fire is still at 184 acres. Crews are still very hard at work stopping the spread of that fire, and the wind has died down a little bit from when that fire started. Humidity there is sitting right around 40%, so we'll have to keep a close eye on that fire. But, of course, brush fires aside, we're all enjoying a nice break from the extreme heat. A little bit warmer than what we saw yesterday, but still nowhere near record-breaking temperatures. If you look at San Diego, 74 degrees, La Jolla, 70 degrees, Carlsbad, 73. Looking a little further inland, we could see Escondido, 81, Ramona, 81, Poway, 80 degrees, Kearney Mesa, just 75. So taking a look at what we can expect overnight, we're still going to see some pretty comfortable temperatures in San Diego. We're going to watch ourselves dip right near that 70 degree mark. We're going to stay there for most of the early morning. And then because we have lots of moisture in the air, we're going to notice the clouds rolling in overnight, bringing us some patchy fog and some pretty gray sky along the coast overnight. Then for those inland neighborhoods, expect to dip down into those low to mid 60s for those overnight lows and a little bit of cloud coverage is going to reach them as well. Then that brings us to tomorrow. Now tomorrow we can expect even more cool weather as San Diego reaches up to just 72 in the neighborhoods reaching up to 79 mountains, a high of 73 desert hitting 100 degrees with wind gusts as fast as 60 miles per hour. Now, especially for those coastal and inland neighborhoods, we could still see some morning drizzle tomorrow. Here's a little look at what that could look like starting right before our morning commute with lots of cloud coverage before and after and then of course all that light rainfall going away as many of us get ready to go home from work. Now taking a look at San Diego's seven day forecast, we can see that we're drying out pretty quickly after tomorrow and we're also seeing some very cool temperatures sticking around. San Diego reaching a high of 72 degrees for the next five days in a row, not beginning to warm up all the way until next Tuesday. For those in the neighborhoods, a very similar trend. The next two days are some of the coolest that we're going to see throughout the week. Finally breaking back into the 80s on Saturday and then we can see that our warm up by the middle of next week brings us right back to their seasonal averages. So we have pretty comfortable temperatures the whole week, but the further we get from the water, the bigger that warm is going to get in the mountains. A high of 73 for tomorrow, a little bit of wind in the next couple of days. Their warm up bringing them all the way back to 90 degrees. And Cam, this is why I think we should really just take a second, enjoy the fact that we are not frying when we step outside of our homes because yeah. tomorrow, high of 100 degrees, temperature cruising all the way up 113 yeah. by next Wednesday. So we could possibly see some heat advisories once again next week. But for right now, we have, we have a break. Yeah, we'll enjoy it. Thank you, Moses.